Welcome everyone back to innovation. Today, what we are going to do is create lots of dots on the screen. So we're going to have to change a couple things first. First thing we're going to do is get rid of this dot move and move it just out of the way for a second. Don't delete it. We want to keep it. The other thing we're going to do is we want to hide our initial dot. We want to make sure that um, we can't see the initial dot on the screen. That's going to happen with green flag clicked. We have our population set. We have our speed set. I want to create another variable because we want to control the max population. We're going to create another variable called max population. And we're going to set the max population. And for now, I'm going to set that to 300. That's actually the most number of clones that our program can actually make. And then we're going to go to this events block. Oops, not events, control. Sorry, the colors throw me off. Go to control and create a clone of myself. So there we go. And we're gonna drag in, when I start as a clone, move. So this is gonna happen, don't you hit the green flag yet, but this is gonna happen. And you can see, I only have one dot on the screen and it is moving much slower now. So all these commands have to happen. So if I wanna create more than one dot, I have to create some kind of looping event or something that is going to create new dots. So. I'm going to create another sprite down here. And I'm going to draw in a circle. Delete the other one, or two by mistake. I'm going to center it right there. And I want to make it filled. I'm going to pick a color. I pick blue. And I'm just gonna put that in the center-ish of my screen. And you could type in zero X, zero Y, and that puts it right in the center. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a name and I'm just gonna call it the matrix, for lack of a better word. So now I'm gonna add some code to my matrix. So when we're going to go to the dot and we're going to check to see if it is touching the matrix. So to make that happen, I'm going to create some rules of life for my dot. So I'm going to go and create a new block. I'm going to call it check rules there we go make some space move it down here out of the way a little bit and i'm going to check first to see if it's touching the matrix and I want to make sure my population isn't too high. So I'm going to put in an operator and say, if my population, I go my variables, is greater than my max population, then I want to delete 
the clone that just got created. Otherwise, we're going to have an infinite number of dots on the screen, and we don't want that. We're going to go to Control. And delete this clone. Now, when I delete the clone, that means the population is going to go drown. So I want to change the population. by minus one. So now the population is lower. I also, if the population is not greater than the max population, want to create a brand new dot. So I want to kind of make it look like it splits. And I'm going to have it create two clones of itself and I want to make it so the dots go to um, a random position we have that going to a random position in our other block you can see that when I do do motion go to a random spot and that happens when I start as a clone So let's see what happens when I do that. So my dot's floating around here. We have to wait for it to actually touch my matrix. I'm going to cheat a little bit and move my matrix closer to my dot. Oops, I forgot to do one thing. There's a reason why this is not working. I forgot to tell it to check the rules. So right in here where it says set previous X and set previous Y, right before that, we're going to drag in a block that says check rules. That right there. And now, oh my gosh, look, now we got our dots. Let me do that again. It's almost instantaneous, right? Because it happens super, super fast. So we need to slow all of this down. And the way we're going to do that is make sure our dot is no longer anywhere near our matrix when it goes ahead and creates a clone of itself. That's what is actually causing us to get an instant number of dots because it's too close to the matrix. So we're going to go into motion. And we're going to use the go to x, y, and we want to have it happen super fast. We're just going to use the go to x, y. And we're going to go into the operators. And we're going to do a plus sign and a plus sign. And we're going to take its current position. And we're going to add in. 100 and we're going to do that for the y current position we're going to add in 100 which should make it jump far enough away from our matrix so that way it does not end up creating instantly 300 dots so let's see hit green flag oh something went check I forgot the most important conditional, the one that checks to see if it's touching the matrix. So we're going to add that in. So we're only going to do this bit of code where we're creating clone of ourselves if we're touching the matrix. So what I did is I dragged all of this code inside of this conditional and go to sensing and we're going to sense if it's touching the matrix and now we can have our dot moving around and it just moves happily and may just move the matrix closer to a dot if I can get it to touch and look as soon as it touches the matrix we get two more dots and touch another dot 
and I get some more dots. And as we get more and more dots, our population on our screen grows and grows and grows. That's all for now. See you next time.